Hi, welcome to my Arch Merged i3. That's what we're on. Now let's maximize it. I see it's not maximized. We are on VirtualBox to be able to make tutorials. And that's the system we're on. I just explained to you the power of uh, Melt. And there's another tutorial that needs to be accompanied with that. Uh, why? Because at some point in time, you'll have, um, let's get rid of that and add this. So in the previous tutorial, I downloaded the version uh, from today. So this is the today version and this is the one from a year ago, two years ago in my, in my inventive, in my fictitious head. So at some point in time, we'll update the scripts and then you want to know Hey Eric, what did you change? So I explained that in another tutorial. So comparing the download from today with the download from yesterday, the year before, and so on. But then you should do something more. What you should do as well is compare this folder, not with the one on your home Eric, but the one inside i3, in your .config i3. This is the hard of your system of i3 so you need to compare these this content with this content and that's what i'll show you now with a super f5 we have melt we ran a melt and we have a directory comparison that we need to do we need to go to i3 the contents of the dot config i3 that will be our own personal element so Following my explanation from the other tutorial, I should actually use the downloads here, like so. This is the left side is the side that's new, and this side is the side that's from me. That's in my mind my logic. So the right one is the one that's mine, and this is the one I downloaded. So when I compare, I know that this one. You can always check here again. This one is the is my personal one. So this has to be correct. This is what what's mine. And this is coming from Eric on the net. So you see already there are some colors here. You can also click on here. So you see, don't see the same things. You don't only see the things that are different. And what did I do? We were working on the system. And you see that there is already some differences here. The Compton copy. But that's mine, and the right one is the mine, and this is content conf. So here you see that what, what you're looking at, the, the image you see, the video you see, has no shadow. False. I changed in, I don't know, tutorial 10 or something, I changed the content file of menu, menu opacity 0. Well, from point, uh, 0 0.9 to 1, so no opacity no inactive opacity i changed the fading to false true to false and this is so easy this is so powerful this is melt you need to know melt if you want to compare files if you say what's in that file what's in this file why doesn't it work this is what i use to analyze melt is so strong and if I would suggest, if I would think, okay, I want to have shadows, the only thing I have to do is click here on the arrow and it will move to the right, from the left side to the right side and it will change as simple as that. It's changed. Don't have to type it, I just have to click, I have to think, I say, okay, do I want menu opacity back or not? Yes, I want it back. Do I want fading through? Yes or no? Okay, let's have fading again. And at some point he says there are no differences, files are identical. And then you close it up here and it says, you want to save? Yes or no. I'm not going to save, I like the way it is, but that's how it works. What's the difference here? Just a space, just a space, but he knows even a space is uh, shown. And here I decided not to start Genie, but to start Atom. I prefer it that way, so I'm not going to change it. And a lot of colors have been changed here. You see it, a, a red color, and we made a new uh, tutorial about the crimson color theme. Yeah, sure, he'll have a lot of blue things here because we changed all the colors. So that's okay. We know what we did. What we did. 
And here we decided to take i3 blocks rather than the other one up there, the command, the status command. So we switched around some things, but it's okay. And then we can analyze line by line what's changed and decide to take it or not to take it. That's how it works. We save it or we don't save it. So the crimson.gpg is not yet on my page, so I can say, okay, copy to the right. And now it's in here. Same applies here, the color config. I deleted everything that's in here, just want the colors. So yeah, what you do now is a little bit different. So you say, okay, control C, here control A, delete, control V. And now you have the same thing and you say, save it. As you can see, we're narrowing down everything. Do I want a backup? No, I don't want it. So this is mine. Remember, this is mine and this is the downloaded. So the only two things actually to check for me are these two and what the differences are, but we looked into those and that's, did I see a space? It's just a space. So done. So that's uh, how easy it is if you know that this program exists at all and then you save everything and maybe something else take a look at the preferences if you don't like the system font or the color solar is dark there are a lot of colors here you can take this is my preference and the rest i don't really use not really but here i do change some stuff closing this up can be strange it is Control shift q and then you go uh, to compare again and save and then you quit you could quit here but of course Control shift q just works so that's what you do if you want to compare the the dot the i3 configuration files with a, a, a newer <coughs> download and your own okay have fun and use melt to compare your files and your folders <laughs>